Recently, we gathered the Pirates' defensive line and their position coach, Pierre Chapman, to discuss their recent play and what makes them who they are. They always talk about offensive line. It takes a long time to gel, to come together. Is it really the same kind of feeling for a defensive front when you have to, uh, especially when you had some new faces at the beginning of the season? I'll let J.D. start. Um, not really, to be honest. Um, playing D-line, everybody has the same mission, attack the quarterback. So when we, we all feed off one, one another. So if someone we see is lacking at something, we'll teach them, help them out, even if we don't know them. Everybody got the same mission. So on the D-line, it's, really, it's, it's easier to gel. It's quicker, I think. He, yeah, like Toby came in instantly. We all gel with him. Like throughout the week, uh, Coach P does a good job preparing us or whatnot. And then um, during the game, I feel like Coach Shelley, he put us, uh, everybody in the right position, you know, to go out there and play free and go out there and, you know, just have a little fun. Well, I'm going to ask you, Coach uh, is not a big, I've been to a lot of practices, he's not a big yeller, not a big screamer. <coughs> Is that uh, a little bit different as far as some defensive coaches might go? Um, yeah, I feel like at this point we're all professionals now. We've all, like we got guys like Toby, uh, TD, guys who've been in the league, JD, that they already know what, like right from wrong. And there's not really too much coaching that needs to be done, really just telling us where we need to be, like in the right position or whatever. So there's really no need to yell. Uh, he can get gangster now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, well, to that end, if he's not a big yeller, since he's sitting there, and I don't, you know, what pushes his buttons? What sets him off? Not working hard. Yeah. Not, 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 not coming to practice the way we're supposed to, <laughs> mentally and physically. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not getting off the ball and practice. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that a normal coach would get mad at, you know? That would uh, agitate him or irritate him. Yeah, I know he's always on us at halftime. We come out slow, he's on us. One thing that got my game going faster this last game, he, like, the game before, we were at halftime, he was telling me, hey, you uh, jogging off the ball, you're not getting off, this, this, and that. So that was the one thing that I've tried to add to my game, make sure we come out faster just so we could have a jump on the other team. The one big thing Coach Pete always yell at us, y'all not getting no push. So <laughs> like, that's, that's the big thing he always yells at us at halftime. So we made sure, like, the past couple weeks here, we got to get some push. When them hands go like this, yeah, you already know what time it is. <laughs> I want to ask Coach Pete a question. Is, how different has this been for you? I mean, I know that you're working uh, some scholastic things in the Chicago area. Now you're working in the NAL. So what kind of adjustment did you have to make? Um, <clears throat> since this is my first year coaching pro, it has been a big transition for me. Um, but having a tight knit group, as in my boys right here, um, has helped me transition a lot faster. Um, I still have ups and downs, but you know, but one thing I can always count on is two guys to make me smile. Juan and TD. <laughs> <laughs> and Lampkin too. But this guy right here, all day in practice. I could be serious. <laughs> he can say something real simple. I'm going to start laughing. Right. But, um, it has a lot to do with my boys, man, and you know, you got a lot, a lot. I got a lot of love for them. So, so TD, what what makes it fun? If you're having fun, what makes it fun? <clears throat> I just like to live by uh, uh, live a little. People die a lot, so whatever I do to uh, whatever I got to do to make somebody else laugh or whatnot, just. You know, just soften up the vibe, then I'll do so. So uh, I like to uh, joke a lot, you know what I mean? So I'll say something that uh, gets, uh, you know, just to get my teammates and my coaches laughing. You know, that just make me laugh. It's just enjoying the game. Every, you know, uh, we, not, we, we don't stay this age forever. So I mean, so while we have the ability, uh, the ability to play the game, just enjoy the game. All right, I'm going to wrap this up by having everybody answer this final question. What will keep the Pirates moving forward as we come down the home stretch of this season? Uh, each week, attack each week as if we're 0-0. So we get to, so we'd be 1-0, win each week. We win each week, and we get to the championship. 
I feel like going into it, uh, not underestimating guys, playing for one another, just playing hard. Uh, relentless effort and uh, knowing what you got to do and following your assignments and just having a uh, good responsibility. Uh, yeah, just um, alignment, assignment, um, paying attention to details, uh, film studying, knowing your opponent, knowing what he like to do, and uh, different downs and distance or whatnot, and uh, just win every week. And I feel like if we do that, we'll be where we want to be. I'm not going to lie, I'm chasing the ring. We didn't see the Patriots had their ring ceremony. We didn't see the Toronto Raptors just get a championship. It just looked good right now. Like, we didn't, we didn't win a couple games. It felt good to come back home and people would say, hey, congratulations on the game. Like, people that I didn't think were watching the game. So, it just felt good. I kind of want to keep that spirit and uh, keep things rolling out here. My motto is um, one, one play at a time, one series at a time, and one game at a time. We take it like that. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for taking time out for us today. A chance for everybody to you know, meet uh, J.D. Griggs, Toby Johnson, Vontae Lampkin, Tavares Dantzler, DeJuan Drennan, Beer Chapman. Gentlemen, thanks for uh, taking time for us today.